So for this uh, class, we are going to be discussing mostly JavaScript. First, before we go into JavaScript as a programming language, um, I want to discuss with us how to actually structure your project. There is no, no fixed rule in this, but there are popular conventions used by most industries and is what I'm going to show you. And every project, uh, every framework you will come across in your journey as a programmer, they have their own uh, project structure. There is the, the standard or the basics provided by these uh, frameworks, but you can decide to change things around based on on your likeness. So for JavaScript projects that we're going to be going through in this uh, class, we're not going to be using any framework. There are a lot of JavaScript frameworks, but we're not going to touch that for now. Maybe later in another class, we can treat that. But for now, we're going to be doing pure JavaScript application using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'm not going to be talking much on CSS and, and HTML. I'm going to assume that we, we have been playing around with these two and our knowledge is grounded on it uh, already. So, but we are going to be using them in the course of our learning in order to create user interface for our application. So to start this project, you go to your desktop. It can be anywhere, uh, any part of your computer, but for ease access, I'm going to use desktop for this uh, lesson, mostly just to introduce the folder structure stuff. So in the desktop, I create new folder. Um, why we create folders is so that you organize all your project assets. When I mean project asset, I'm referring to your CSS file, your HTML file, your JavaScript file, any images you are going to use to display on your pages, including other media elements like SVG, if you have need for that. So you have to create your project root folder that houses all these project assets. And your root folder name is always advisable to, to be named based on the project that you want to work on. So for this, uh, for this tutorial or lesson, uh, we are going to be building a to-do application. This is, uh, this will be a pretty very simple application, but at the cost of our learning, we're going to learn uh, several things. So if it's to-do application or project that we want to do, um, you might as well name your folder the name of your project, uh, which is to do. So um, once you have the name of the folder, everything you're working on uh, from this moment should always go inside this root folder and nothing outside. You don't reference any image from outside this folder you don't reference any file outside this folder because your project will not, uh, even though it might see it in your local, by the time you want to deploy your project, you might not remember all the places you are pointing to. And this uh, file will not work on the internet because the file is in your computer. So, um, 
since we are doing a JavaScript application, we need a folder to house our JavaScript files. So we create a folder inside our root folder and call it uh, JS. This is where we keep all our JavaScript files for our application. And the second thing we will need is CSS. We will we'll need some style sheet to make our HTML page look nice. So the second thing, the folder we create is CSS. You call it uh, either CSS or you call it styles. These are not, uh, there's no hard rules for this, but they are just uh, good to uh, group your items in a logical uh, form. Some people like to create a folder called assets. You can create a folder called assets that has all these things inside. This is another style if you like, uh, but this project is simple enough. We can just put it on its own, uh, on its own folder in the root. And we also need another folder for images. So now we have identified three folders that our simple JavaScript application is going to need. Now we will need also HTMLs, right? But in this case, uh, you can put your HTML file, that is the root, uh, in this root folder. And depending on uh, how our application involved, uh, it will warrant us to create another folder, then we will have to do that. But for a start, these three folders is the basic uh, stuff that we need. The next thing now is to create our HTML uh, page. So open any editor of your choice. For this uh, class, I will use VS Code. VS Code is a free tool that uh, you can use to write almost any, any programming language of your choice. It has several plugins that can help your uh, work easy. I'm not going uh, into this, but just know that uh, those are possibilities. So now this is our project here. You can see all the folder we created. So the first thing we wanna do is create the file that will be our uh, landing page or the entrance to our application, which is index.html, because we'll be using HTML for this. I believe we all know this one already. So, uh, this is not the, the main cause for this. So when you name your file index.html, you can easily uh, hit the file by going through the roots. Once you access the root folder without putting index.html, uh, the browser knows to load this index.html. And you can also create other files and name them any name, but then you have to put that name in the browser to load it. So this is our HTML file. Um, this is just the basic structure that uh, I would expect everyone to have. So I'm just going to put quick boilerplate, uh, HTML boilerplate here. Most of this uh, you should already know uh, by now. So if you have if you want to link your files into this, uh, first let's just see that this works and we're going to load up this in the browser in a in a minute. Uh, hello world. 
And let's leave this empty for now and we'll come back to it. So if you are following me, um, if you put exactly what I have in my screen right now into your HTML, we can uh, already run this in the browser. So let's uh, test that. Go to your folder and you can double click on this file to open it in your browser. And you see here, hello world. This is uh, the landing page that we'll be working on as time progresses. So now we need more files uh, to make this page fun. So we are going to add a CSS inside our style sheets, uh, create a new file and call it main.css. So um, again, this name can be anything but based on the fact that this will keep our main style sheet for this project, it's good to call it main because then when we are revisiting our folder and files, we know that, yeah, this is having uh, our main CSS. We can have other CSS, little, little files that we can include inside this main CSS. If, um, if our task warrants it, we will, we will, we will show this. So your main CSS uh, right now, we just want to style this text to be read, for example. So if we, we have only P tag in our application and we want to give it a color of red just to test that our file is working. So in order to get this CSS file to work, we have to link this file into our page, so, and to link a file, you use the link uh, attribute. Now, uh, I wanna take a little time to also explain this one uh, of how your page references your folders. So, which is why it's good to create a root folder whenever you're making a project uh, so that all your stuff uh, assets are all organized. So now this file that we are working on, index.html is in the root of our project. And we want to reference a file that is inside these styles is main. So because this file is in the root, we can already assess this straight up to say, go to styles and pick main.css. So assuming this file is in another folder inside styles, we will go through all the way to say styles slash the folder name slash maybe another folder slash until we get to the name of the file. Excuse me. <laughs> until we get to the file, okay? So with this, uh, we can already reload our browser to see if our linking works correctly. So we reload this page and the text turns red. Then you know that your CSS file is correctly linked. So the next thing we wanna do is introduce our JavaScript, which is the primary purpose of this class. So before, um, we link our JavaScript. It's uh, good to explain a little bit uh, what JavaScript is. So JavaScript is a programming language, which is the obvious one. And 
it is mostly um, used to create interaction. Before now, JavaScript is mostly for front end development. Recently, uh, we had something called Node.js that now gives uh, the power or the ability to actually use JavaScript to build full-fledged application, including your backend. So before you resort to other languages like Python, PHP, uh, including Ruby for your backend development, but now Node gives us that power to use JavaScript to build backend application. So with your JavaScript, you can build everything web development without uh, requiring other programming languages. So with that um, out of the way, JavaScript is fairly easy to learn, um, I would say, compared to other programming languages. And you do not need any form of compiler in order to run JavaScript. JavaScript is a browser language itself. So you don't need third party uh, compilation or third party server in order for you to run your JavaScript. So every browser supports uh, and understands uh, JavaScript. Also, JavaScript uh, runs from top to bottom. In other words, uh, it runs line by line. It executes line by line. So there are a couple of ways to import your JavaScript uh, into your page. One of them is by embedding it into the HTML code directly, just like the way you do with style sheet. Sometimes you can decide to put in your styles within this uh, page by using this style tag and you can make your P tag and maybe make the font size bigger and something big and your page will respond, right? The same way you can do with JavaScript. You can also embed JavaScript by using the script tag, HTML script tag and you can write some JavaScript code here. Don't worry about what I'm writing. I'm going to explain later. But with this, you can easily get a JavaScript to respond. So this alert box is what alert does. It gives you a pop-up that you can exit by clicking the OK uh, button. So with knowing that this does that, you can also uh, include JavaScript using this source, uh, just like what we did here using the href in, in, in JavaScript to use source, which is src. And you can also point to where the script file is. Right now we don't have any script file, so let's add one. Um, let's call this also main.js. So this is our main.js. So let's put the same alert. This time, let's put some different number. So um, we need to remove this because we want this to read this from our external file. So we go again, the same way we linked the CSS file.
And if we save this file and try again, you see we get alert three, which is coming from our JavaScript file. So where do you link or where is the best place to link your JavaScript? Remember, I have this one on the head and this one is in the body. So JavaScript uh, is always advisable to be included in your page before the closing tag of, uh, of body. This way, all your HTML element would have been loaded before loading the JavaScript. So there's nothing stopping you from including your JavaScript also in the head. But if that JavaScript is interacting with your HTML, which means if your HTML is not loaded and your JavaScript executes, it's going to throw an error, then you have to load that JavaScript before the ending of the close tag of body. So if I save this and try again, I will get the same result. You see, the JavaScript was executed, but my page is still blank. You see here, there's no hello world. Why? Because my JavaScript loads first before my page. If I click OK before my hello world will show up. Now see the difference when I include it uh, below after all my content before the closing tag of body. If I save this and I reload my page, you see there is hello world here rendered before my JavaScript was executed. So in this case, depending on what you want to achieve or your use case will determine where you want to load uh, your scripts. Also, sometimes um, you have heavy scripts that you want to load on your pages that really do not, uh, you do not have any dependency over this in your current page. You want to load these things last so that your page is visible to the user before trying to load the scripts. So these are also one of the reasons why it is advisable to put it at the bottom here. <clears throat> 